today we are going to moon hole so if you would like to come with us make sure you subscribe my name is billy this is sierra and our pup jetty this is our home her name is adrenaline we decided normal lifestyle isn't quite right for us so we've been living an unconventional but fulfilling life of challenge and adventure be sure to subscribe below and hop on board So Moonhole is pretty much this New Yorker who came down here and he built this natural structure into the rock up here just a few, a couple miles up on this point. And they built it using all natural materials and it was like low impact, like right into this volcanic rock that makes up this, this land mass over here. And I think they had help from some people from the community nearby called Paget Farms. And they used a lot of like natural hardwoods and like whale bones incorporated into the structure and stuff like that. It's really cool looking from the water, all open air. It said somewhere that they have plexiglass that they can lower into place. But besides that, most of the buildings are no windows or anything, just open air. You'll see, we'll explain a little more, more about what we found out about it when we get down there. So we're just gonna cruise and uh, check out Moonhole and then what? And then we're gonna go diving and attempt to find a lobster. So, and if we don't, we could always eat sea urchin again. Go Nads. You're gonna come moon hole, right? You wanna do a moon dance? Woof, woof, woof. Another drone bites the dust. What happened? I don't know. Lost connection and flew into the tree somewhere. I got it back. <laughs> it's broken, but at least we're not littering another drone into the environment. And we also got the footage that was on that card, which is pretty good. We've had this drone for so long, it's taken so much amazing footage it's old we only bought it for five hundred dollars on amazon so it's definitely on borrowed time i don't know if it's going to be repairable maybe eh probably not maybe you could buy the ex the unit that attaches underneath but anyway whew, at least we got it back all these stone walkways and and stone houses and stuff like that with whale bones all over the place and it was cool I was just going around the stone paths looking in the trees looking everywhere there's so many places it could have just fallen in and been hidden i met a maintenance guy and i asked him and he i was like it's right over here somewhere and we went up and he brought me up to the roof of one of the places that wasn't being inhabited and uh, we saw, I saw it right away. It was like down in like a porch area of this, of this guest, uh, stone guest house thing. So, whew, I wouldn't have seen it unless we had went up on that roof or somehow went through there. Crazy rock formation. There's a house up there. That's the house right up there that it was stuck on. See it? Yeah, yep. It was like on the porch, just on the front side of that, the opposite side of the house. So check this out. This is Moonhole. You'll see this big arch in a second. 
And I'm pretty sure this was the original moon hole house. Look at that, that's so crazy. So this is why it's called moon hole. I think from one side or the other, you can see the moon through that big arch. I don't know if it's the moon setting over here or if it's the moon rising from here looking that way. That's so crazy, huh? There's a whale something, whale bone right there. the other side of Moon Hole. Now they use it as kind of like an eco lodge and you can rent out some of the houses. Everything from here like onward that way is owned by the same people. Company I think. It's like a trust now. And they're trying to like protect it. Protect the architectural history and the wildlife and it seems like they're doing a good job. It's so neat. That original moon hole house is uninhabited right now, and like Sierra said, I think some of them are owned privately, and then a lot of the other ones are rented out as like guest houses. We like came around this corner the other day, and we saw there. We're like, what? Check that out! It's so neat. We were on the other side before. This right here, it's all just a big, long, skinny peninsula. So we were just on the other side, and and there's a lot more dwellings on that side as well. Time to go. What do you want to do? We gotta get in the shade, it is sunny, but then we're gonna go diving. Get underwater. We're all the way on the north coast of Beckway here. I think this is where we're gonna get in the water. We're going in. This area is usually pretty rough, I'd say. It's like right in the channel, strong currents. A lot of times it's a north uh, swell and a hard east wind. So hopefully there's some lobster around here because uh, a lot of people just can't get over here. So see if we can catch one. Water looks super clear.
exhausted. We were in the water for like four hours. We got one lobster. We saw a bunch, but so many were so small. And so many were in deep, deep, deep holes that go on forever. So if you don't get it right away, then it's gone. Not to make any excuses, but we need a snare. We need, I think that's the tool that we're missing to get some of these lobster. So here's what we got, a little lobster. Little, just barely legal lobster for, for appetizer, the nice tender ones. We're gonna dip it in this. Marinade I used to marinate the vegetables that we grilled. Mm -hmm. Salt, pepper, olive oil, garlic, oregano. Mm. Wish we had about five more of those. Mmm. Wow. Mm -mm. I grilled up a bunch of vegetables. Zucchini, I mean not zucchini. Eggplant, and then this is that Christophine stuff. That one's a little, a little well done. Christophine, that we just learned about from the lady at the market. It's like zucchini. We just grilled all that stuff up, and then we got some quinoa, quinoa, and then out here we got some chicken, and then some more vegetables grilling. I mean, that's dinner. Bon appetit. Thank you guys as always so much for coming along with us and hanging out and diving and having a blast. Hope you guys had fun. We're on our way to, uh, we don't know where we're going next. Either stopping in St. Vincent real quick, one or two stops, maybe. Maybe skipping St. Lucia completely, but maybe not. People said we had to hike the piton. I know, we're just running out of time. And then definitely Martinique is definitely our next big stop. Probably straight to Fort de France. Maybe stopping a little before there, but we got a reprovision, like a big, big provision run. Hopefully we can get some good wind for sailing. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys when we take off. Later. I don't think we've showed you yet, but Billy has figured out how to catch, cook, catch, clean, and cook squid. He's been loving it, but we also need bait, so. Straight from the back of the boat. They are so delicious. They They're like so to hang out under our light, so. We just found two, come on over. The fish are all scared. Of them. And there's the other one on the surface over there. He's right here. They're so close. I need a longer net. In New England, the first sailing trip I ever took with Tula was a little shakedown trip up to New England. Like, I was in Nantucket in October, and maybe even into early November, and, uh, and guys were squidding off the dock. Like, so they were using these squid jigs and jigging under the lights off the dock and catching squid. I don't think they're the same species as squid as these, but I wonder, like I tried to look it up to see if people try to catch squid in the Caribbean and I haven't really found anything, especially like jigging squid off, for jigging for squid off the back of the boat. So I don't know if it's a thing, but I certainly, we, I caught a few with this net and they taste amazing and they make really good bait too, so. But they're getting smarter, they're staying just outside the light. So we posted something on Instagram not that long ago and everyone thought they were cuttlefish, but these are actually Caribbean reef squid. Very similar, but. Similar looking. Yeah, similar looking, but these are the squid of the Caribbean. There's three little babies right here, but they're too small to fit in the net. They'd make perfect bait though, oh my goodness. 